<laughs> there goes Mel singing her mean song about us again. <laughs> Hi friends! <laughs> Welcome to another episode. We're driving, and uh, we finally figured out how to make the voiceover work, as you can tell. <laughs> Hopefully. We Hopefully. Don't. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you won't be hearing it if we didn't figure it out, so That's congrats true. us. Ah, the most important part of the trip. The fact that I found a walking stick. Because, as you can see, my leg's messed up. Uh, Hopefully not for much longer, though. Exactly! We're actually just like got real answers about what it is, but that's a different story. Anyway, so today we went on a trek up to Castle Caribous, which is in the Pyrenees Mountains, and it was a heck of a trek. By the time you're seeing this, we've already walked up a path basically halfway up the mountain. I think I pan over here to show you the parking lot that we climbed from. Um, but look at that view! It was so... Gorgeous. Holy crap! So gorgeous. I took some of the absolute best pictures on this trip. It was a bit windy, but I had my stick, so yeah. Sticks. Um, yeah. If you can see that barely shiny bit in the background that we just panned over, but you'll probably see like five more times because I did the same shot that many times. That's actually the Mediterranean Sea that yeah. you can see from the top of this the, castle. This wonderful castle, as you can see. It uh, was one of the castles that was put alongside a road. Uh, this actually, like, you understand why castles were placed where they are, where you're looking like, oh, I can see anyone who would possibly be on that road. You had such a great view of the entire road below you, like the highway, just you could see it for miles. So even if you couldn't necessarily defend the whole thing, like, you well, could certainly get a warning. I know where they're road. going. We'll head them off at the pass, as we, they say. Exactly. So this was an old Cathar castle as well. It was basically built into the rock of the mountain. Um, and I have no idea how they were able to construct this, because oh, yeah. outside of these walls, it's literally just a path that's maybe a couple feet across, mm -hmm. and then straight down into the mountains. It's amazing. Now, these little holes you see here that I zoomed in on, because that's where like beams of wood would go to like mm -hmm. make um, different levels. Different levels. Yeah. Uh, obviously, all that has since gone away, but you can see little little bits and pieces of, of what it used to be like. Mm -hmm. uh, castles weren't just like cold, stony things. Yeah, they had a bunch of things to make it comfortable because. Once you got up there, you were kind of stuck, because... I mean, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. That path <laughs> That's the, the only edge way in. of the cliff, so yeah. you, you were there for a while. Um, and they had all of their water in a cistern up there. They had a jail, they had a chapel, they had rooms. Um, I didn't get any good video footage of the chapel itself, but they had these it beautifully carved ceilings. Yeah. It was really dark. We uh, our cell phones. But... Buttressed and whatnot. Yeah. It was kind of gorgeous. <laughs> ah, there's a reason people do that. Ah, Jack and Jim had yes. a, a sticko. <laughs> shall I call it? Yeah. I was like trying to remember my bits and pieces of course staff training. And Jim was just whacking people with sticks. Like, yeah. So, you know. Our friends, Jim and Teresa, who are probably listening to this. Hi, Jim and Teresa. Hi, guys. Thanks for, you know. Taking Hanging us, out with us. <laughs> taking us here. They're the ones who rode with them. Yeah. They drove us around. They showed us this castle and the little village. It was great. And that <laughs> was ladylike. Um, <laughs> 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 but down there is the parking lot that we had to climb up from. So as you can see, it was um, quite the hike. And this is after we got down out of the castle proper. So it was very, very long. Yes. Um, but beautiful so great so and gorgeous. so hilariously windy oh yeah the butcher made fun of us the next day for saying well there was sun down in caribous when it had been raining in kion all day and he's like but it wasn't windy and apparently this castle is known as the uh port du vent or the the, the door, door of the wind so yeah i get it the, i get when it we're going up into the castle proper um because it was, you know, a relatively small door, mm -hmm. the wind blew through there pretty hardcore, and it was like you were lifting off. Yeah, it really felt like you could almost 
fly away insane um, but absolutely stunning and across the way there that's the sister castle um, Paracortus it was also built into the mountainside but basically when one saw an enemy coming they would light their signals kind of like beacons of Gondor basically um, and they the actually they, <laughs> they do have a bunch of tower beacons on top of all the little hills um, stretching from the Mediterranean all the way up into the mountains so yeah. they could see any danger that was coming and they're still there because what are you going to do? Take a bunch of stone off the... No. No, you're going to leave it there. It's too much work to take it off. It's a lot of work. I don't know. Getting all the stone up that mountain must have been a nightmare. Yeah. So after our trip to Caribous, we went down to get cookies at Jim and Teresa's favorite cookie shop. And we got to drive through some more absolutely gorgeous scenery on our way there. A bunch of vineyards. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a little fountain water reservoir area that was just... It's just like, oh, so, well, that's cool looking. So pretty. <laughs> I just love it here. Even so the water much. treatment places are nice. <laughs> they make them fancy. Um, so Jim and Teresa swore by these cookies, and they were delicious. If you like a good shortbread cookie, when I remember what the name is, I'll put it in the comments because... I was so happy. I had one that was vanilla flavored and coffee flavored, mm-hmm. and it felt like there were like actual bits of coffee bean in the cookie, and it was just it was good stuff. It was just solid stuff. So so good. Um, so that's a view of the town <laughs> that Jack took. Yeah. Hopefully, there we go. All right. There it is. Um, just more filming. Oh, there we go. That's the name of the cookie place. Ta-da! They had an entire complex with a restaurant and a tea house and the cookie place as well um, in this town. And two adorable dogs. Um, so that's the cookie shop right there. And it's right by Boom. a restored windmill. There's a giant windmill. <gasps> there are the cookies. Oh, Sorry, so biscuits, because cookie, I guess, means something else in these parts. I mean, it's just mostly the Brits call them biscuits, I think. Yeah, fair. Most people. Look at that. It's also, also beautiful. They also and, do honey. Yeah. Natural honey. All honey is natural. Yeah, I mean, I you can't write synthetic. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Anyway, anyway just, here we are. We hiked to the top of the window. It, look at it. It's so cool. Fun just fact. There. That beam that you see in the corner there? Not attached to anything. No, it's just a It counter, must be a counterweight. Balance. Yeah. Oh, it's Jack and, and Teresa up on the mountain. I found a. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but it was making a noise. So I think it was supposed to be like a. It was probably like a chimney of some sort. Yeah. It but looks like this was a bunker of sorts that had been converted into. That might be it. Thing. I thought it was just like the bakery chimney, but didn't yeah, have sure. bakery smoke coming out. Yeah. There. So this mm-hmm. place also has a bunch of ruins that we got to climb through and crawl around. Um, mm-hmm. It was right about here where I walked into a nettle mm-hmm. and got stung and <laughs> somehow managed to keep filming even though so, my ah! leg hurt so bad. <laughs> but this, that, that door back there is 100% something you'd expect to walk through and you'd end up in like another town so of course i went into it of course he did and it smelled wonderful in there it smelled so good there I was like re- i can't remember what actually did we like, decide it was like sage or something i don't think it, it was, was like sage. sage or oregano it was some sort of like cooking plant that smelled really good because it had just grown up wild inside oh and i was pointing at a lizard then ta-da this lovely view and um, this is where we leave you with this final view because uh, we didn't get very much footage that was the right way around. That was my fault. Mm-hmm. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Bye.